right off the dome. That's a trap. There's one faint. There's two faints right there. There's three faints, right? Here's number four and number five. As you can see, five whole faints. Yo, what's poppin' ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smojo. I'm on my character, Care Lion. And today, I'm going to teach you how to stack faints on Omen String Beam. Let's go ahead and get started. If you guys don't already know what you probably do know, but I'm explaining anyways, if you guys don't already know, Omen String Beam is a key boss that is currently in Polaris. He's a pretty good boss to farm if you're looking for mounts or if you're looking for amulets, sorry, exalted amulets. You know, he, he drops a, a lot of shit that people farm for. Um, and currently, the way that the Wizard 101 devs mindset is, uh, they nerfed Shatter. If you guys didn't know, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a mob in this boss, battle that's called sentinel and before you can kill or, or finish the battle you have to kill sentinel first the thing about sentinel is he has a shit ton of defense and he just casts a shit ton of fucking shields on himself uh which is really annoying and considering shatter just got nerfed it's kind of a harder battle now and uh i personally have found a counter to this which is faint stacking so i'm explaining to you guys how to do it in the, the entire process of what you need to do in order to faint stack on omen string beam so before we get started there are some requirements that you have to do with your character like gear sets or, or you know stuff like that there's some things you need my friend there's some things that you need uh to in order to do the strategy it's a small list but i'm, I'm just gonna tell you the shit that you need the hardest thing that you will need for the strategy is a pet with a certain talent that talent being hex trained if you can see on my pet my pet has hex trained there's a few pets in the kiosk that have hex trained i have yet to be able to get the perfect pet for this in my opinion a perfect pet is proof defy uh legion shield uh fortify with hex trained and probably a selfish challenge to boost up that fortify i mean to boost up that resistance but as long as you have hex trained you should be fine you don't really need any of the other shit uh if you guys need a pet with hex trained hop in my discord court server just tell me and whenever i can i will uh hatch my pet with yours hopefully you can get hex trained that way uh, but yeah there are some pets in a kiosk so this is like the absolute hardest thing that is required for the strategy um so go get this pet because if you don't have it you're not going to be able to do the strategy at all the second thing that you need for the strategy is at least two elixir potions the strategy requires you to flee the battle and come back um and you're going to need some you know you're going to need some mana for that so make sure you have at least two of these these, I would just fill them up. Once you fill them up, you should be straight for at least two battles. So make sure you do that. Um, and the third thing that you're gonna need is some pet snacks. In order to use Hex Train, you're you have to use Pet Happiness. Uh, to be more specific, it uses 35 Pet Happiness. As you see right there, it says pets can only have one uh, combat pet power, 35 Happiness. So make sure you get yourself some pet snacks. I currently have none, but I have 325 Happiness, so I'm straight. Um, and you're only gonna be using this about four or five times. So just multiply. What was that like? Like at least 1500 or some shit. Um, uh, that my math might have, might have been wrong. But yeah, make sure you guys get that. And once you have those things, you should be ready to go with the strategy. Now, I personally like to use five feints on Sentinel, Sentinel whenever I'm doing it. Those five feints uh, being as follows. I like to use Boot Feint. I mean, Boot Potent Trap, which is one. I like to use Regular Potent Trap, which is two. I like to use Mass Feint, uh, which is three. I like to use Indemnity Feint or Regular Feint, which is four. And I also like to use Treasure Card Feint, which is five. Five whole feints on Sentinel. Now, this strategy has only been used on Omen String Bean, uh, but I do believe you could use this strategy on bosses like ethereal element or any other boss where it says you're you, you can't use faint um you guys will have to test it out i haven't tested it out like at all but hopefully it works if it does let me know and i'll probably test it out in the future and let you guys know but as far as it goes i haven't tested it out so yeah anyways once you're in a team up like what i got with my homies we're just gonna enter in make sure that everybody's ready uh it doesn't really matter what spot you get in just you know you know get in a spot and then all right so when you get into the battle the first thing that you're gonna do is choose a faint to enchant and you have to remember that faint so the first one that i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the boot faint right uh you're gonna put on the hex on sentinel and then you're gonna put the faint on sentinel and then that what that will do is you'll place the faint down first and then your pet will go and then string bean will take away your pet's hex instead of taking away the faint so my teammate used protected faint which means i don't need to use protected faint but it's still fine, you know? It's all right, he's helping out, I like it. But as you can see here, my wizard is going to cast Faint, right? It's gonna be the Enchanted Boot Sharpened Faint, and then my pet's gonna go out and he's gonna cast Hex. Once he casts his Hex, he'll do that, we are not so easily fooled, just like that, right? 
And he's going to take away the Hex versus taking away the Faint. Just like that. And you repeat this process until you have all the feints on. And the reason why we need to flee is because you can't use your pet's talent for another two rounds. However, if you flee and come back to the battle, you can. As you can see right there, you see how I can't use it? So I have to flee, right? I gotta go back to the dungeon, just like that. And you have to do all of this really fast because you don't know when your team is gonna, you know, choose the next cards. And you wanna get in there as soon as you can. And then I'm gonna use a potion on my way back. I'm gonna hurry up and try to get inside of here before it, you know, it, it closes and then boom, I can do it again. So then I'm gonna use my potent trap instead, just like that. Oh, sorry, use the hex first. Make sure you use the hex first. I just messed up. I'm glad no everyone didn't have their, uh, what you call this, but make sure you use your pet's hex first and then use the faint. Um, and then on the second round, he'll have three faints on him, just like that. And as you can see, I can use my pet's thing again and He'll just get rid of the hex instead of uh, get ridding, getting rid of the faint, which is really, 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 really good. And boom, just like that. Now we're just going to repeat the process. And this time, since we already got the enchanted on there and we got the protected on there, we're going to need to use the treasure card along with the mass faint. So we're going to do it again. We're going to flee just like that. Wait till the loading screen finishes. Go back to the dungeon. And just W key all the way back. Make sure we use our potion so we have a little bit of mana. And uh, and yeah, boom, just like that. And then we're just going to indemnity one of these, I guess. Get our treasure card faint out. Boom and boom, just like that. And that's it. We don't need to flee anymore. You only have to flee two times. After this, you could just use your regular protected faint without fleeing and then on the next round you can use your mass faint so you only have to flee two times and you do this every single round which means by the time that you're done with the strategy which is about five rounds uh your team should be ready to use the uh use scion or whatever they're going to use to kill and also keep in mind this is only me doing this right this is only me if there was more people in my team that could also do this with their pets there would be no reason for me to flee because everybody could just pick and choose whichever faint they wanted to put on the boss which means you could probably Practically have four different feints on Sentinel within the first round of this battle. There could be a two round strategy for this boss and no one knows it. You know what I mean? And then when you use Mass Faint just like that, uh, he'll get rid of the feint on you. So that's why Mass Faint is like, you know, like a go-to really good, it never fails, you know? It ends up helping you a lot more than you would think. So my happiness is now 220. And I think I started with like 340 or something like that. So I really only use like 120 or ish happiness. So you really don't even need that much, honestly, like really. So as you can see, my man's about to use Scion. Uh, he doesn't have any blades, so it's probably gonna do double damage. And we're waiting for Nicholas with the shatter. Shatter, shatter, question mark, please. Thank you. So we're going to get the shatter. We're going to see how much damage this man actually does within... This was, what, five, six, six rounds? No more than seven rounds here. So we're, we'll see how much damage the Storm Wizard does uh, with five feints and a bunch of traps. You know what I mean? So here we go. Here's the shatter. Beautiful shatter, by the way. Big... Wait, is... This isn't the big boy shatter. It's a regular shatter. It's still removing a bunch of fucking shields, though, as you can see. Like, that's a... That's a that's a lot of shields to be removing. He pretty much has no more shields. I don't know what that minus 15 was, though. Considering he has the bubble, does it does it get rid of his uh, fortify? It did say minus 15, but he still has, like, the animation of the fortify. That's weird. I've never seen that before. But let's see how much damage he does. I think this guy has, like, 160 damage. as a storm wizard critical. Right off the dome. That's a trap. There's one faint. There's two faints right there. There's three faints. Right, here's number four and number five. As you can see, five whole feints. This is gonna be insane. A shit ton of damage right here, bro. A shit ton. Shit ton, bro. 500k. 500,000 damage. 500. And I think he has, what, like 80,000 health? Like, that's complete overkill. But yeah, honestly, I could definitely see, like, maybe a two round or three round strat with this guy. Like, I'm a, I'm a verbally say it. The, the strategy I'm thinking in my head, I don't really have, you know, the friends, I guess you can say, to, uh, you know, make this like an actual video or whatever. Maybe if I streamed it, maybe, but, you know. Um, but just imagine this, right? All right, check it, check it, check it. You got four wizards, triple fire wizards in the front three. Last wizard doesn't really matter, or the first person in the battle doesn't really matter. On the first round, the first two wizards, they need to have the pet with the hex trained. 
they're gonna use Enchanted Faint on Sentinel, two of them, okay? We're talking about the Boot Faint and then the regular Faint, both of them on Sentinel. The last two wizards are going to use Protective Faint on Sentinel and then Mass Faint, right? That's the first round. On the second round, only the first wizard is gonna flee, come back, and he's gonna put on the TC Faint. On the second round, Sentinel has five Faints on him, right? This is when the killing starts to happen. Second Wizard and Lies uses Backdraft. It should be a six pit Backdraft. So that's about like 80 damage, right? He'll probably need to use a uh, Backdraft on String Beam because five feints on Sentinel, I'm pretty sure that's more than 80,000 damage. So I would prefer him to use the Backdraft on String Beam because you gotta, you know, you gotta do more damage to pierce through that fucking shield shit that Sentinel does. But yeah, second Wizard in Line uses Backdraft. Third Wizard in Line uses Scowled. Um, and then the last wizard uses uh, Insidious. If you guys don't know, Scout is a five pit fire wizard spell that does 500 overtime damage to each and every person in line. Now, I don't know if you can use damage over time on this boss, uh, but if you can't, then fuck everything I just said. But if you can, then this will be amazing. But yeah, that's 500 damage. You enchant it, that's 800 damage, pretty much, right? Damage over time to each and every person. And then the, uh, the Insidious doubles that damage. So it'll basically be a 1600 damage spell for five pips. If you stack that with the damage that some wizards are gonna have, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure everything will just flat out die. And if everything doesn't, three round strategy is definitely doable on this boss, but a full team, a hundred percent. At the end of the battle, Sentinel's gonna have five feints on him. Every single mob is gonna have at least one feint. And then Stream Bean is gonna have the additional backdraft on him. I think that is definitely doable for a two round strategy, 100%. So my man's hitting. Uh, Sentinel had a double faint on him. How much damage? 50, 60,000 damage with two faints. So come on now. 60,000 with two faints. Like, it, it's over with. And each mob has a faint already. Uh, I was not expecting that minus 70% for the Storm Wizard Slayer. 8K? Okay, not bad. It was a minus 70. Not, uh, not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah, he's definitely not going to die. There's a minus 70 on him, too. Yeah, but but still, you know, it's a pretty good strategy. You know what I mean? And I think it, it, it'll work flawlessly. And, uh, yeah. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to join the Discord server if you want a pet with Hex trained on it. I will try my hardest to get it to you. Um, and if you guys have any questions about the strategy or anything at all, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I might try to actually try that two-round strategy that I said earlier. Uh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. There's only one way to find out, you know what I mean? But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed and you guys are dope people. And uh, use the strategy you have, share it to your friends, everything like that. And I appreciate you guys watching. Peace. So I'm standing my guy now for a while. I'm a shy now. Uh, yeah. I'm a shy now.